you ever get the need to just do something spontaneous? To just go somewhere on a whim without really knowing what to do? Hannah and I had a couple of days off, so we cancelled our plans, packed the car camper and headed to Exmoor, the UK's least visited national park. I can't believe that we have come to Exmoor. We literally decided this morning to come. We arrived at Linton and Lynmer and we were driving for about four hours, mm. which is just insane. Because we arrived here at quarter past two, we decided that the best action would be to go pee and then get a pasty for lunch. I don't know why a pasty specifically. We were both just really, really We really nice wanted a pasty. pasty. But everywhere was closed. Like, everywhere was closed. Every single thing is closed. We just it's want like some sad. food. We just want a pasty. <laughs> and now, it's getting quite windy because we're on a cliffside heading to the Valley of the Rocks. It's so windy and there is such a sheer drop <laughs> off the edge of this cliff <laughs> which is quite uh, quite daunting but it's so beautiful just look at that path and the way it just curves around the rock and just it's drops amazing. down to the sea it's so cool <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Last time we came here, we stood on that ledge and had a photo, but it's way too windy today. <laughs> Honestly, we would, we would just fall off. So Valley of Rocks is labelled as being a very dramatic short section of the Southwest Coast Path. And it's easy to see why. It is this beautiful U-shaped valley that runs sort of parallel to the sea and there's just these jagged rocks jutting up from the ground. It's amazing. I thought this would be more sheltered than it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing about going coastal in the winter. It's quite windy. It's so windy. But we found this amazing cave. It's, a, well, it's more like an archway, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, archway. <laughs> it's amazing! Edgy Instagram shot complete. I'm kind of scared it's going to like ram us off the edge or something. It's, I think that's a, a genuine fear. I think that's a fair fear. I don't remember it being that cool as when we came in 2020. So we came here in March 2020 and it was the first time we'd been away um, on holiday together where we'd sort of booked a hotel and it was really nice. And, um, and then a week later, lockdown happened and... We didn't see each other for three months. Yeah. <laughs> but it's nice to be back, especially since we didn't expect, like last night we had no idea we'd be here today, so... Yeah, last night we had no plans doing anything and suddenly we're, you know, four hours down south um, exploring, which is really, really cool. Oh, I'm getting that... Um... Cliff Railway, yeah. Cliff Railway is closed. I know, it's that so cool. So it's like three time. pound a ticket and you get to go up the Cliff Railway. It basically lets you avoid all of the coastal path because from Lynmouth and Linton, it's quite steep. It's quite steep up the coastal path. Okay, so this is really cool and I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. Because it's quite clear, you can see Wales. It's home! I was going to jump in now. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got back from walking the Valley of the Rocks, which is really cool. I'm really glad we went back again. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. It was so windy though, and I think we're both feeling a bit windswept and yeah. a bit exhausted. <laughs> so we're just back in the car now, trying to decide what to do next. I'm currently looking on my phone on Google Maps and the app Park for Night for potential places where we can sleep tonight in our car. First thing that we really need to do is go find a pub to get some food. And if it's got free Wi-Fi at this pub, even better, because we can uh, download Netflix on uh, mobile yeah, and I'm download some stuff <laughs> before we actually go to bed. Otherwise, it might be a, a dark night, yeah. a cold and dark night. But yeah, we'll catch up with you guys when we found a pub to go and eat at. So, <sighs> we've just spent like a quarter of an hour walking to every single pub and restaurant in Linton. <laughs> 
and either they're all closed and being refurbished or they're not doing food at the moment. So, <laughs> he's trying to find out where to eat. I know I've been saying all day that it's like everywhere's been closed and it's really quiet in Linton and Lynmouth, but don't let that put you off. We were here in March and it was really, really busy. Um, lots of stuff going on, loads of people. February is just the low season, January, February. So, you know, that's our fault for coming during the low season. Yeah. And it's a weekday as well, so I think on yeah. a weekend the cafes and shops at least will be open. Don't let this put you off because it is genuinely a really beautiful it's area. It's lovely, it's so nice. Right, wish us luck with finding somewhere to eat or yeah. starving. <laughs> <laughs> There's Hannah, paying for my car parking. We headed down to Lynmouth where we found a place to tuck into some food. Hannah even made friends with a dog. Then we headed to our parking spot to tuck ourselves in for the night. <laughs> we just set up the car camper and had a lovely meal. So now we just need to put the rest of the thermo up. We've got the front one on just about. Yeah. <laughs> so we just need to put the rest up and then we're gonna watch the Netflix and head to sleep. Yeah, so we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. We probably had the worst night's sleep because it was so windy. And so cold. Yeah, we decided we had to open just ever so slightly one of the windows because it was getting, there was just too much condensation forming. Not that it really helped because there's still quite a bit, but I don't know, I still have fun. Look at your hat. It's so great, isn't it? <laughs> It makes it all worth it when you wake up though and you see a view like this the and you see the sunrise because the sunrise is absolutely amazing. I don't really know what the plan is today. Same, I've been thinking about it like all night, like laying awake, freezing, being like, hmm, what should we do tomorrow? What should we do today? But I think the first port of call is to go and get a coffee. Mm. In spite of the wind, it is very nice to wake up to this view. This is the condensation situation at the moment. And we forgot a towel, so I'm going to use this jumper. <laughs> oh, not a easy jumper. <laughs> I got it. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to oh. see. <laughs> it's just running. Go car camping. It's fun, they say. <laughs> no, it is fun. I enjoy it. But I'm just get no sleep and <laughs> a load of condensation. <laughs> We are in Porlock, a beautiful little town uh, in central Exmoor, and we've just had a coffee, and now we're checking out the wild guide to see um, of things to do for the day. I think we're probably, we may go check out Tar Steps, but it's a bit of a detour. Yeah, it's like 40 minutes in the opposite direction of home, so. Where we need to get to, and we gotta go home tonight. Mm. And although so, that is kind of rated as one of the top things to do in Exmoor, but I but, think it's uh, something to do maybe another time we're done this way. But I think first things first, we're gonna explore the town of Porlock mm. and um, check out the weir. Apparently Porlock weir is meant to be amazing. So yeah, we'll check that out. I was just saying that the circles that are on the beach, they've got pathways connecting them all. Do you think there's a purpose? How much things have just got really cool with the main lot a little? I've no idea. Like Alright, what's your best theory? Leave below in the comments what your best theory is as to why they're here. Aliens? <laughs> or or did did an artist named Bob just get bored? <laughs> We are now at Gore Point, which is quite close to Porlock Weir. It's so beautiful. It's really beautiful, and it's a bit of a grisly name for such a beautiful area.
were going to turn back and walk back to the car and then we just saw this further down the beach so we decided to walk and check it out. That's exactly what I was just thinking. Perfect wild camping spot. What a cool little park. That's so cool. I feel like this is what being alive means. Just aimlessly walking down a beach and finding a little abandoned fort and just getting excited about, you know, just exploring your country and like finding little things with someone you love and just just being and sleeping in your car in a random car park like and waking up to the sun's rise and everything like that it's just it makes you so grateful to be able to just experience these things and I'm just cringe. so happy cringe. I know I know it's cringy but I just, oh. are you okay <laughs> After exploring Porlock Weir, we headed east towards Dunster to explore what's widely considered as Exmoor's prettiest village. So, we are now in Dunster, which is a little village not far from Porlock, where we just were. It's this beautiful little medieval village which is overlooked by Dunster Castle, which is this really quite imposing castle. So, first off, we checked out the water mill. Which we thought would be free, but... but you have to pay to get in. <laughs> yeah, and it was about um, 13 pounds, so we thought. Yeah, so instead I, I got a gift from my mother of some flour. <laughs> the perfect gift. <laughs> the most expensive flour in the world. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna go around and find some uh, either cheaper or free things to do. We have just crossed um, Gallox Bridge, which is an old pack horse bridge, mm. which uh, is really, really cool. We're gonna try and head up there now. There ain't enough room in this town for the both of us. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. The last place that we are visiting in Exmoor is a place called Conagar Tower, which overlooks the village of Dunster. And it was built in 1775 but it's a foley, which means that it has no practical purpose. It's just built purely to look interesting. And it's on a hill overlooking Dunster, very easily visible. Um, when we get to the top, we'll show you the view from there because it's supposed to be pretty spectacular. But yeah, that's all it was made for, was to be, to be cool. <laughs> The views are pretty impressive. You can see the castle on this side. And over here... You can see the sea, except you can't really see it at the moment because it's, it's really rainy. <laughs> We've had a really good couple of days in Exmoor and it was so nice to come back because it's been a while since we were here last. And although we didn't get much sleep in the car camper last night, it was still worth it and it was still fun. Yeah. And we just can't wait to do it again. If you want to see more of our car camping adventures and general adventures, then be sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps us grow so that we can go to more places to yeah. show you guys. Um, but aside from that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>